Hey guys, just a quick video. I get this question asked me a lot, and that is, how do you start up a business or continue to run a business whilst holding down a full-time job or while studying at university or college? Now, I've been through this myself. I set up my first business when I was at university studying mathematics, and I also set up another business whilst being a full-time investment banker. Um, so I understand that it's not easy and you really do have to hustle and grind to get the work done, um, often when you're exhausted and knackered after a long day of work or study. So the first thing I need to make sure that you guys are clear on is that you have to be passionate about entrepreneurship. You have to be passionate about the business you're setting up and you must really be prepared to work hard even after a long, busy day. So hopefully I can give you a few practical tips which will just help you out and just make your life a bit more easier. So the first tip I'd give you is to make sure you write out a list of tasks that will be high impact for you developing and moving on your business. So pick up one day a week, let's say a Sunday, which is what I do, and I'll make a list of all the things that if I achieve this week, it will be high impact for my business and it will lead to a good potential growth. Um, so that's my first tip, make that list. My second tip, would be to not just have that list, but to now prioritize that in order of the usefulness of each task, okay? So based on that, once you've prioritized it, you can pick one task that if you do tomorrow, will have the most impact for you. So it be the most beneficial task for you to do. And so you know when you get back from work, if you work at this one task, you'll be moving a step forward. And that's the key thing. You just want momentum. You want to keep moving forward and keep making progress, okay? So step one was to make that list. Step two was to now consolidate this list and to prioritize it in order of what's gonna have the most benefit for you and your business, okay? And my third tip, and this is probably the most important tip and I found it's been most helpful for me, is to make sure you block off some time at the end of every day. So when I used to get back from university, I knew that from 12 to three in the morning was my time to work on the startup and no one would distract me and I wouldn't think about my mathematics or any university work. I would just simply focus on the task that I set which was the highest priority. And once I got that done, even if that was the only thing I got done was one task, I know I've now moved a step forward and I'll continue to do that each day. And you'd be surprised at how much progress you make. Okay, so tip number, to recap, tip number one was to make sure you write a list of all the high impact activities which will help your business grow. Step, step, step two would be to make sure that you prioritize those for one task each day. So you know that if I do this task tomorrow, that's going to give me the most output as opposed to task number two, task number three. Oh, and the third tip would be to make sure you block off time. Block off time and make sure you focus on that one specific activity. Now, of course, if you let's say you've blocked off three hours and task one has only taken one hour, then move on to the next in the list of the priorities. You move on to task number two and task number three. And slowly but surely, you'll be making good progress. So remember guys, it's not easy, but it's definitely doable. Um, so if you, as long as you're prepared to work really hard and sometimes crazy hours and give up on sleep, then you'll see that not only will you progress in your work life and your, or your studying life, but you also help your business run and move forward. Now, of course, there will be a natural point when you need to make the decision of do I take this business full time? But I'll save that for another video on when to decide if it's the right time to leave or to set up and uh, quit your job or leave university. But um, yeah, for now, keep working hard, make sure you focus on those key steps and hopefully that should make your life a bit easier. Good luck.